The first CMC joint is frequently affected by osteoarthritis. The joint is located between the proximal tip of the first metacarpal and the trapezium, just at the distal border of the anatomic snuff box. The snuff box can be brought out by having the patient extend the thumb against resistance. The point of injection is between the extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis longus tendons, just at the joint space. Palpate the joint space while flexing and extending the thumb. You can use your thumbnail to mark the point of injection or you can use a retractable pen. Remember that the point can shift when the thumb is flexed during the injection. For this injection, the wrist is supported in slight ulnar deviation. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I'm using betadine followed by isopropyl alcohol. I have a 1 ml syringe with a 25 gauge 5 8 inch needle and a mixture of 20 mg of depomedrol and 2% xylocaine mixed to a volume of 0.3 ml. Advance the needle vertically into the joint space. Aspirate to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel and then inject the solution. It should go in fairly freely. Remove the needle, apply the safety mechanism, and dry the area. A band-aid is then applied. Ask the patient to flex and extend the thumb. Pain relief can be almost immediate. 